<clears throat> All right, let's steer the way we're supposed to be steering. That'll be helpful. You need to go down the middle. Yes, that's true. That is 100% true. At least there's no mines in this one. At least there's no mines. Okay, we're going to slow down a bit to let our hydrophone do the work for us. With any luck, we won't encounter too much. It is the middle of the day. Although night should be falling another two hours or so. That would be bad. Yes, yes, it would. It would be quite bad. I have no doubt that the game is just going to randomly spawn ships inside my detection uh, circle. Um, so we got an MTB to our rear. Not too concerned about that at the moment. Coastal defense spotted. Okay, let's go ahead and radio that in. Get a couple of bucks. There we go. Wish we could lay mines. That would be very cool, actually. I would enjoy that a bit. I would enjoy that a fair bit. Um, can we see the attack craft? Probably not. I would say they're well outside visual range. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine by me. Yeah, laying mines would be really neat. I mean, you can sort of technically lay mines if you use T5s in the rear. Uh, it's not quite the same, though. Let's give him a rest, get him on the listening post. Everybody else is beginning to get tired, but nothing to be too concerned about just yet. Okay, we're going to be steering in here in a moment. It would make attacking convoys crazy. It'd be super fun. It would be super, super fun to do that. I would enjoy that immensely. Alright, <clears throat> got to thread the needle. All right, we've got a Corvette heading toward us. Less than ideal. Um, we're going to have to hide some stuff. Because we are going to get spotted. We are going to get spotted. So let's have Jaeger put down the snorkel. Let's have him switch to blue lighting after that. Skipper, let's go ahead and hide the periscope. And once that's hidden, we can get you to bed. We'll go ahead and put bank back down. Uh, Jaeger, back on nav, please. I'd like to preserve some, uh, battery power as best I can. Okay. Hello, Hertog. Welcome to the stream. Yes, we are doing Portsmouth. Yeah, when they depth charge, you can pull an Uno reverse card. That would be good. The, the equivalent of no you. Uh, what was she? Unknown. I don't know if she was an Isles or a Flower. Okay, we're going to have to have somebody on the depth steers at this point. Let's go ahead and get Quinn off the engines and onto the depth steers. We'll keep us below the waves. We'll slow down to speed 2. Uh, just to make ourselves a little less quiet. Or a little more quiet, rather. Just launching depth charges out of the water. Just throw it back at them. Uh, skip, let's go ahead and get you down for a rest. No reason for you to be awake. Okay. Um... Hang on now. Why aren't you doing this thing? Here we go. That's what I meant to do. Sledge can take a nap. Alright, there's that Corvette. Uh, she's going to get close to us. She's going to get pretty close to us. She is still unknown. I can't tell what kind of Corvette she is. Okay. Let's have uh, Bank work on her a little bit, maybe. I can get an idea if she has Hydrophone. Yes, she does. Okay, we're going to slow down to speed one. And with any luck, she'll give us a pass. Gyro compass off. Um, not just yet. Not just yet. <clears throat> 30 seconds historically, that makes sense. I think we're okay. Detection levels are not going up. So, with any luck, uh, she may have killed her engines... Okay, if she killed her engine, she could be listening for us. Let's go ahead and kill the gyro. Alright. Um, hello? Somebody want to kill the gyro, please? Like I ordered? Somebody want to do that? There we go. We are very close to the seabed. Um, you can drop to about 11 meters, give or take. Yep, I can. I'd like to keep the snorkel within range of the surface for as long as I can. All right, she's moved. She started moving again. That's good. 
Uh, Coastal Patrol. Okay, so we've got MTBs coming up on our rear. That's really not good. They can spot us. They can absolutely spot us. Okay. <clears throat> uh, if you crash dive, it'll be deep quicker than a normal dive. Uh, you see, I have my ballast tanks empty. It takes like eight if you fill them just over halfway. You usually kind of cheat and look outside to see the absolute minimum you can go. Yes. You can also just use your pinger um, to get an accurate reading. Do you know, I might actually get past this Corvette and then slam us into go, go, go mode. So, because if this thing comes up behind me and I'm stuck dead center like I have to be, then I'm very, very worried that they will just spot us. So we may, we may try to race them in. As soon as this Corvette's past us. Okay. Let's go ahead and increase speed. Air is becoming a bit of an issue. It should be... Is it night now? Not quite. I'm going to go ahead and risk the snorkel uh, really quick. Just to keep air up. We're going to stay at electrics though, please game. Let's stay at electrics. Um, Jaeger, let's keep preserving battery. Okay. I'll be dead. Okay. Still going to try. Still going to try. 9% visible over 5. Alright. Alright. What's everything looking like? Still not in any way detected. With any luck, these patrols would just be going past each other and not chasing me. That would be helpful. Um, Skipper, why don't we go ahead and use the periscope? Just see what everything looks like. Just in case anything's parked and not making noise. Because if their engines are not on, I probably won't spot them. Okay. Should be passing the area with the subnet shortly. Getting closer to the point where I'm a little bit worried about coastal defense picking up my signature from the snorkel. Mm. Yeah, we're going to hide everything until we're a little farther in, I think. You won't spot them. Not probably. True. But we're going to try. <clears throat> Oh, I see what you're saying. We absolutely would not spot them. Yes. I agree. Skipper, let's hide this for a moment. Mr. Jaeger, you take a quick nap for me, buddy. Bank, you don't need to be there. Let's get Sledge doing it. Okay. It'd be funny if you ran into a ship because you're not checking the periscopes. That would be actually really funny. Um... You did find the snorkel is the largest factor in visibility, so just pop it down once your air is good. Oh yeah, 100%. It's the it's a 4% difference over just being spotted and having your snorkel in the air. 4% difference, give or take. Alright. We're well into the port now. Luckily, ooh, hang on, what was that? Oh no, okay, that's fine. Alright, Skipper, you have that thing stowed yet? Good stuff. Let's take a nap. And we're going to go, I don't know, something like this, maybe. Just sort of make a backwards question mark. Come on. I hate when the game keeps kicking you out of um, time compression over and over. It's really irritating. I'm not sure what kind of coding mishap that must be, but I don't like it. Um, I'm starting to get the impression that there's fog. I think there might be fog. You hate it too? Yeah. It's really irritating. Just having to click the button over and over. Um, okay. Skipper, let's go ahead and get the scope back up at this point. Navigation correctness is perfect. No worries there. Yeah, it gets on my nerves, man. Okay, let's see the periscope. We'll skirt the land a little bit so I don't run aground. All right, what do we got in port? Currently not picking up anything. I have to sink two ships, though. That's a little concerning. They must be hidden behind the seawall. Let's see if I can do anything manually. Uh, 
port. Hello, port. La porta. Okay, there's a destroyer over here. Uh, there's AA guns. Um, what else do we got? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, another destroyer. What kind of destroyer are you? Um, is that one of those V-class ones? Hang on now. So she's inside the wall. Okay. I think it's a... Um, is it an F-class? I don't think so. It might be an F-class. Hmm... It's got the crane and everything on the back. Tribal. Um, tribal. Single cannon forward. Cannon up top. Yes. I think I'm going to go with a tribal. We'll see how that works. Yep, tribal. <clears throat> hello, semicolon. Hello, hello. Find somewhere to sit and breathe away from the searchlight. I'm not really concerned about it at the moment, to tell you the truth. It's going to be night here momentarily. So I think we're going to be okay. We've just got to get to a position where I can take these shots. Alright, so we've got a tribal there. Um, we've got AA guns. We've got another ship here. I can't quite make her out, though, yet. So we're going to have to hold off on trying to identify her. We'll get there. We're going to get there. Ooh, there we go. Now we got all kinds of good stuff. Now we're getting all kinds of good stuff. Alright. Thought there was a freighter. There might actually be one. We just haven't figured that part out yet. Alright, we've got a... Uh, Isles class. Another Isles. Where's that destroyer I was looking at? Uh, it's missing now. Okay. Um... Yeah... That's a flower. Uh, another flower. What else we got? More Corvettes. Um, I believe that's the tribal we first looked at there. Where's that second? Oh, she's back here. I see. Okay. Spin this boat around a little bit. Today, boat. Today, my friend. Okay. Alright. Now, what's going on? Skip. Alright. So, that was our initial contact, I believe. Uh, or maybe it wasn't. Coastal defense craft. Yep. There's another one. That sort of looks like it's in the dock somehow? Okay. Not 100% sure what I'm looking at there. Um, I do need kills, though. We may just shoot um, Corvettes. I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> Pardon me. We may just shoot uh, Corvettes. Not today, old man. I know all your tricks. The Destroyer takes more uh, shots, honestly, even when they're parked. So there's really no benefit to it. Um... I mean, conceivably, I could take shots at one, two, three Corvettes, vice um, the one destroyer and one Corvette. I'd really rather do that, in all honesty. I'd much rather do that. Uh, Shifty, let's get you on depth keeping instead. You can brag. I've killed lots of destroyers, not too concerned about it. I've killed all kinds of destroyers. All right, we're going to be stopping the boat here pretty shortly. I'd say here is good, actually. Okay, so let's start taking a look at things. I want to shoot this boat, Skipper. Let's look at this boat. Um, she's definitely a flower. Let's see now. <clears throat> Do I need someone on depth steers? I don't really, but I feel better doing it. All right, she's a flower class. Um, 
distance to target is currently this is difficult with the sh with the um, buildings behind you wait a minute uh, hang on I don't like the way that looks for some reason let's go the other way maybe it just looks off to me uh, right about there okay that's her distance Second target is another flower class. Flower, 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 flower class, good. And her distance is, nope, I need you to open the thing. There you go. Her distance is approximately this. And we do have another flower just on the other side of the seawall that I'd like to take a poke at, right? Um, no, this is an Isles, actually. We'll try that one anyway. Uh, it's already locked in as an Isles. I already locked that one in. Okay, works for me. Works for this fella. And there's her distance. Okay. Um, alright. Let's go try to figure out some of this nonsense. It's always difficult when they're facing in directions like this, but we will persevere. Um, let me see now. Stretch this out here. I don't want to use the course thingy. I hate the course thingy. If anybody's followed the last few streams, no, it's not fun for me. I don't understand why you get numbers that don't make sense. And supposedly they make sense, so super not a fan. Super not a fan. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the old coursey goodness. Gotta remember that this is a subtractive number as she's facing west. And 24 degrees. Is this confusing for you as well? Yeah, it just... I, I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. I don't know. Um, what was it again? 24 degrees. So we're looking at 336 for that target. And that's what she's on. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can just take the shot, in all honesty. But, well... Play the game, people. Play the game. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright, and this little fella. Um, let's see now. Right over this way. And something to the tune of this. Thereabouts. Close enough, really. Doesn't really matter all that much. Doesn't matter all that much. We don't, we don't have to be perfect when they're parked. Certainly do not have to be... Whoops. We do have to click the right button, though. Okay, game. Hello. Want to stay with me here? Stay with me, game. I'm trying to do stuff. I'm trying to do important war things. Thanks very much. Important war things. And a little boop in the boop spot. Right about there. And right about there. Um, 124. Your screen froze. Sorry about that, buddy. Uh, 124 is 236 for a course. And I would say that ship is also doing 236, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, I'm hoping I targeted that ship. I really am. Um, 236 is the direction she's facing. Uh, our third target was here, and she's also facing 236 as far as I'm concerned. Close enough. She is indeed doing zero knots, as is all the rest of our little targets here. Zero knots for you, and zero knots for you. I'm thinking one each should do it. One each should do the trick. We're going to get ready to move. Um, we're going to try to give the lighthouse a fair berth on our way out the door. We do have to call this in, and I'm going to have to start lining up my torpedo-y goodnesses. So this fella here, let's go ahead and flood tube two. Come on, game. Stay with me. You're jumping all over the place. Okay. Get that flooded up, then we'll fire at this target and this one, hopefully in fairly rapid succession. Alright, now we're on the Narcissus. <coughs> Tube 3. Come on, little tube. Come on, little tube. Fire. And for this unnamed Isles... <clears throat> we'll give her tube number four. 
just wiped dirt off your keyboard and actually typed a bunch of M's. <laughs> it happens, bud. It happens. All right, let's get him to sleep. Uh, we need some help reloading. And we're going to start moving. We're actually going to back up to begin with. Uh, we'll back up in this direction, though. Okay, just about time for fireworks. Hopefully we didn't screw this up too badly. What are we hitting first? Uh, hitting these two in fair succession, it looks like. Alright. Boom! Lovely. And 10 seconds on the final ship, apparently. There we go. Hey! Okay. Apparently we sunk enough that uh, we passed um, our mission. So, that's good. That is good. Now, getting out. Getting out. You have a macro so you can press R on your mouse. It's really weird. Interesting. Thank you, thank you. That went okay. Um, I'm not too concerned about what the ships are saying. You know what? I sort of want to shoot this thing on the way out the door. I kind of want to shoot at it just for something to do. I don't think I have any warm torpedoes, though. Let's find out. Uh, okay, so we're locked on that. We know she's going zero. We know she's roughly a kilometer away. Nope, that's course. Um, she is a tribal, we're pretty sure. And her angle would be something to the tune of what? Um, 360, 270, 300 maybe? Something like 300? We just gonna eyeball it? We don't have any warm torpedoes though. That is a problem. If we can manage to get one warmed before um, we pass the the, uh, the pier, we'll take a shot at it. But I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to need vents running, unfortunately. Okay, we are preheating a single torpedo. Um, Mr. Tyler can warm up number three, maybe? Yeah, let's say number three. And we might maybe get a shot at this thing before we leave. Um, let's um, let's say we f try to figure out her actual bearing, though. Let's try that stupid, stupid thing again. I gotta figure it out. It's gonna drive me crazy if I don't figure it out. You know what I mean? I'll be about here-ish by the time I can take a shot, maybe, or maybe here. Uh, 16 degrees. That's probably going to make it really, really difficult. Uh, where's that course tool? So, 16 degrees, but it's not, because she's sort of like... Um, 180, 170, 160-something? What would that give it? 35 degrees. I don't get it. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense, you know? So I'm looking at her, and she looks like she's, I don't know, sort of like this. Something like this. Salt plus lightly salted equals good salt. I appreciate that. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. I don't get... Ooh, that's problematic. Uh, kill the vents. Ooh, okay, hang on. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Um, hmm. If I get spotted, we're done. We are super screwed if I get spotted. 37% <clears throat> and rising. The vents should be off here momentarily. 38%. Come on, vents. Okay, vents are off and we're no longer being spotted. I've gone ahead and told the boys to start working on this Corvette, and that's going to go up really, really fast because um, the top of the dial represents the front of the boat, and you put in the angle off your guess. As I understood it, you just had to match the arrow to the direction the ship was traveling in. Maybe I'm wrong. Hope I have a warm T5. Zero. Zero, zero, zero. I have no T5s whatsoever. So many people just chat. What now? <laughs> Don't worry about it, folks. Go ahead and chat away. 
I've got time. I've got time. Um, hmm. Really concerned about air. Maybe I'll risk raising the snorkel really quick. Just to breathe a little bit. Let's just see what that does. Let's just see what it does. Alright, snorkel's coming up. That MTB is really moving. Come on, snorkel. Come on, snorkel. Come on, snorkel. Alright. 7% visibility. We're not being detected, though. And we're getting all kinds of good air for the boys. Jaeger, jump on the observation scope for me. Okay. That MTB is incoming in a big way. She's going to see us. Start working that. 3%. Wow, we're actually getting really fast percentages on that. She's beelining it for us, too. <clears throat> Risk it. I dare you. I'm doing stuff. I am. I'm doing things. And stuff. Well, it worked way less dramatically than you thought. I mean, okay. Now we're starting to get detected. Okay. Let's think about this. Bank, drop the snorkel. Using the angle on bow tool, you need to s you set the angle of the target as you see it. The game then automatically takes into account your own course and sets the actual compass course to some other number of degrees. Yeah, see, that's the thing I don't like about it. I want it to say the course the ship is on. I don't want to plug in 24 and have it say 100 or whatever. I want it to say what the course of the ship is. All right, so it was the snorkel giving us away. Uh, too much close and we won't be able to shoot at it at all. 750 meters in closing. 750 meters in closing. She may miss us. Okay, we're going to hope she misses us. We're just going to keep working this uh, frigate. Sorry, not frigate. Uh, Corvette. Come on, little boat. Don't you see me. Don't you dare. You imagine fire and panic. That certainly is a thing that could be happening shortly. All right, there's our MTB. Amazing how she can't see me. Dumb fire torping an MTB seems tough. Oh, it's go it would be almost impossible. It would be almost impossible. But we've got a good lock on this Isles. Not a bad lock at all. Let's go ahead and slow down a bit. With any luck, this MTB won't find me. Do they have... Do they have eyes? Maybe. Uh, I'm good with it. I'm super okay with them not seeing me, honestly. <clears throat> You gotta think, too. They're on their boat. This bright light is shining. It's dusk. It would make it really difficult. Imagine firing a bo uh, torp at an MTB. Why not? Hello again, Logan, by the way. Periscope is very invisible. Probably too invisible. Not every boat is equipped with sonar. That's correct. Not every boat is equipped with sonar. This Isles is. And we're gonna be shooting at her soon. We're gonna take a risk and shoot at the Isles. We gonna risk some stuff, just because. Okay. The aisle has no sonar. No, you're correct. I'm thinking flower. Sorry, I was thinking about flower. Hmm. Eighty-eight percent. Nine knots. She's really moving. Um, how are we doing distance-wise? Getting really close. Less than a kilometer. Okay, at this circle point, I have to take a shot, no matter what. 90%. I sort of want to see if we can slip past her and just drive the torps in from a 90, though. That would be really good. Let's speed up a little. I'll stop and just wait. Why do we have to take a shot? We don't have to. I just want to. We absolutely do not have to shoot at this boat. Not even a little bit. I just feel like it. I feel like doing a little more damage. 
because this thing was supposed to sink and is not. It's just 100% fine and floating, and I don't like it. It bothers me. I'd rather if they died. Okay, if we can actually slip by her, what are we looking like distance-wise? We'd have enough room for the torpedo to arm. You seem like the guy is always having second thoughts. We already failed the stale and undetected thing. So yeah, there's really no point to not shoot at her, right? Okay, what do we got loaded up anyway? T1s. They can see a T1 coming. I do have one of these crappy T2s. Let's get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that one. We're going to be shooting here momentarily. <clears throat> and... Fire. Shoot, shoot, shootily shoot. Where's the torp? Why can't I see the torp? Is it behind this line perfectly? Where's the torp? Torp, hello? Torp? There it is. We're gonna miss her. Oh no, 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 we're gonna get her. From hell's heart, I stab at thee. Boom! Did they fix the T2s? No. They're still garbage. I still do not recommend them at all. Let's go faster. Um, alright, this MTB's still hasn't figured out where we are, so I'm happy about that. Let's go ahead and hide the observation scope. Um, let's see now. What else do I want to do? I probably want to hide the main attack scope at this point. Let's go faster. We will. We will. Don't you worry. Uh, no, that Isles is perfectly fine. I feel like the game is bugging on me again. More invincible boats, I guess. Yeah, she's 100% fine. So, there's that. Speed and power. Johnny for the win. What's going on, my friend? Welcome back to the stream. Hello, hello. We're doing silly things in a port. We're doing very, very silly things. Things that you should not do. And yet I'm doing them. And yet I'm doing them. Not a whole lot. Working, watching some U-boat action. Hey, man. Happy to help. Happy to hear. Okay. That's hidden now. All right. Skipper, you can grab a nap. How are we doing otherwise? Air is still a concern. Um, this MTB also can't find us. So that's plus. It is coming on dark, and that's very handy for us. Very, very handy for us. Um, we are poking out of the water a little bit. Thinking maybe Walrus will get on depth keeping for me. Just to keep that from happening. Just to keep that from happening. Hmm. We're gonna die, so be ready for it. I mean, it's possible. We don't know. We just don't know. Everything might be fine. We may actually speed up. Um, I think... Yeah... I'm thinking speeding up is a thing I might do. Let's go ahead and get some more bodies on the engines. We'll go to speed four. And I'm going to chance raising the snorkel here in a moment. Actually, probably now-ish. I'd like a little bit of air. Just a wee bit without having to run the vents. Blow ballast deck gun? That's not a good call. <laughs> not a good call. All right, snorkel is popping through the water now. We are breathing. No indication of being spotted. They must be looking for us elsewhere. Still okay so far. This is incredibly dumb to do this close to enemies. I don't recommend it. I do not recommend it. I feel like that Corvette isn't even turning around. T uh, serious question. If done at a safe depth, can you safely launch yourself from a torpedo tube, assuming it's done quickly so you don't have to hold your breath that long? Um, I don't know. I don't sound angry enough to deck gun. Not in the middle of an en enemy port, that's for sure. Definitely not angry enough for that. One hour stream right now, look. We hit one hour. Yay. Yes, that is definitely a thing that happened. Yes, it is. 
Uh, we're still doing good on detection. I'm surprised. I can't remember if I have the anti-radar coating on this thing or not. I'm guessing we do. The Righteous Rob, hello. Welcome to stream. You know you can get out of a tube, but you don't know about a launch. Yeah, I don't know if a launch... I think that'd be pretty hard in the human body. No, I, no clue why you're celebrating like it's a milestone. I really don't know. I've had streams go upwards of close to five hours. So, I mean, you know, whatever floats your boat, buddy. If you're happy, I'm happy. Alright, is that threading the needle enough? Let's go ahead and straighten out that course a bit. Those subnets are a real pain. Um, you said lunch, not launch. Yeah, don't... I want to take lunch in the tube. Don't launch me out of the tube. What are you, crazy? Alright. We appear to be pretty solid here, people. Like... Hmm, another MTB coming in, though. Um, that'll make it difficult. She has a good chance of spotting us. We're gonna have to drop the snorkel again. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Jaeger to do that now, so I don't forget about it later. I Down you go. Good. Little snorkel. Burp, 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 burp. I, I we got lots of air. We're at blue lighting. I think we're gonna be okay. Where's that MTB at? Alright, we got one coming up the rear. One coming... Pretty much directly toward us. I may actually have to kill engines here momentarily. Should There should be more of a reaction to port attack. I agree. I super, super agree. The last few times I've attacked ports, it's been painfully easy. Alright, let's give this guy time to get by us. Ooh. No, you're okay. You just keep doing your thing. Go on. Do your little MTB thing. Don't mind me. Everything's fine. Okay, back up to speed. A subnet actually beached you once. Nasty things. It uh, took me out the first time I ever did this mission. I couldn't understand why suddenly my boat veered off to one side and then went up on the shore. And then I got shelled to death. And I really couldn't figure it out until I looked it up online. This is back long before there were uh, anything close to good tutorials um, on YouTube. You want aircraft screaming people, panic destroyers? Oh, absolutely, there should be. I actually did, uh, I think I uploaded it once. I had taken shots here, and a Corvette actually left the dock and started to try to find me, which I thought was an interesting touch. The Corvette actually leaving the dock. That was really good. Um, I need someone on the radio. Let's do that. Yep, I definitely saw those guys. That's a thing that we saw. Swap these bodies around a wee bit. And, okay, let's get uh, Bank working on him, just in case. And we're gonna go something like this. That Corvette does not care whatsoever. You know, he got an indication, he got a call saying, The port is under attack! And he was like, yeah, 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 what else is new? And they were like, no, seriously, the port, it's under attack! And he's like, nah, it's fine, don't worry about it. Um, we're gonna go snorkel up here. I think we're fine. I think we're super fine. Not too concerned about it at all. Alright, back on nav. Uh, Walrus, you can get off the depth steers, take a nap, buddy. Thank you. You played once in B126 and then quit, because you had to go back a version, so you were vanilla. That makes sense, yep. It makes perfect sense to me. 126 was a very, very good release. We talked about it a little bit last stream. 126 was almost was as close to perfect as the, as the game had ever been. Honestly, it was really, really good. I was super sad to see how buggy 127 is. It's kicking me out of time compression over and over again. Come on. Just go. Just go. Ooh, hey, where'd you guys come from? See, this is the crap I'm talking about. This detection crap. So, apparently the devs are working on a new tutorial. I would really prefer they would work on ships not appearing out of thin air. That would be great. That would be great. The port is under attack. Don't be silly. There's no tracks under the port. The pork? <laughs> oh, sorry about that, pup. These things happen, my friend. Um, no, she's not kitted out with sonar. Sorry, 
hydrophone, so we're okay. Snorkel's down. I don't think they're going to find us. We're good. We're solid. We are solid. If um, time compression... Oh, hey, time compression... Oh, it almost went. Just ranted about it as, as if I was uh, surfaced. Yep. Uh, yep, let's just go. Could we just go? God, I hate it. Just go fast, please. There's nothing I'm detecting over and over. Just let me go. Thank you. Thank you. Swap these bodies around. Um, let's go ahead and get Shifty down for a nap. Mr. Walrus get back on the engines. Thank you. Uh, Jaeger can grab a nap. Skipper can run nav for a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm also going to raise the snorkel again, I think. I think we're pretty solid at this point. Uh, we'll also switch to red lighting. And then get back on nav. Okay. Now surface and deck gun, gun them. No uh, <clears throat> change from times one to time five and back again. It might stop. Um, not in my experience. I can give it a try the next time it happens, sure. But not in my experience. Alright, that uh, Isles is doing donuts. So, okay. That's fine. You just do some donuts then, little Isles. Do your thing. Uh, we'll swap back over to diesels. Charge up our batterizes a little bit. Whoa. That was fast. Did you guys see that? That was weird. Alright. Alright. Uh, I just need to refresh something. One second, please, chat. Just refresh that really quick. My uh, preview was locked in one position from like ten minutes ago, so... Okay. Do 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 The aisles. Mo power, baby. Very true. Very, very true. Okay, we should be out in open waters here soon. Very soon we'll be in open waters again. Pretty happy about it. Uh, skipper, nap time, Jaeger back on nav. Thank you. Uh, this is all fine. Good stuff. The coastal thingy had some issues with his warp drive. It's all cleared up now. Yeah, we're good. Hey, hello. What you doing? Hello. Maybe back to electric engines, just in case. That Corvette does not appear to be moving much. Barely moving along. That's fine. You just do your thing, little Corvette. I'm hoping to find some shipping on the way out. Deck on that. Not this close to port. Nope. They have a tendency to make things appear out of nowhere when you're close to the port. And I'm not big on that. Not big on ships appearing out of nowhere. I don't like it when the game cheats. I don't mind losing. But I don't want the game to be cheating at me. Do we have a deck gun emoji here? Not to my knowledge. Perhaps I will look at making one. Um, I'd like to get into normal speed now. That'd be good. Normal time compression, that is. Sleepy. Regular radio, maybe, for a little bit. No. Um, nah, stay on the big ears, I guess. Okay, we're in open sh We're in open sea. Not she, but sea. Um, we'll call in that we completed our patrol. That's good. We'll get to roughly mid straight. Um, we're going to service the boat where it is nighttime. Let's go ahead and bring her up. Jagger, let's put down the chimney, please. And fire up the diesel compressors. Awesome. Well, that was fairly painless. Almost too painless, honestly, but sure. Almost too painless. All right. Now we're rocking and rolling again. With any luck, we'll find some shipping on our way out the door. Or possibly an aircraft. Wouldn't mind shooting down a plane today. That'd be good. Alright, Skipper, let's get the eyeballs rocking here. Nothing so far. 
Um, maybe we should dive and hunt on our way out. By the way, Salted, do I have a PayPal? You don't get Twitch. Um, yeah, on my about, um, sorry, on my about page down there, the, um, the tips and donation area, you just click it and it takes you right to the, uh, PayPal thingy. I appreciate your consideration. Whoa, visual contact, that's a U-boat. It's 100% a U-boat. All right, let's dive the boat here. Um, anyone have a good tip to enjoy Twitch? Mission failed. Twitch is too much. <laughs> I like it. Uh, Skipper's going to have to bring up the periscope. We have it hidden. Let's go ahead and get Mr. Walrus down for a nap. Um, we'll get Tyler on the engines. Jaeger down for a nap. I think... What speed are we at? Three? Yes. We'll stay at speed. No, we'll go to speed two. We'll get Bank rocking the big ears, and we'll uh, keep an ear peeled for anything that may be fun to shoot at. Sledge, before you toddle off to bed, can you raise the snorkel for me, please? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I had flank, but then I won't hear anything. I wouldn't hear nothings if we went to flank. Although, I'm not really picking up anything. We'll switch to electric. That'll, um... Increase our range a little bit. Drop to speed one, maybe. Nothing, eh? Hmm. It's not the best thing in the world. <clears throat> no, we'll just hunt for a little while. Probably keep our diesels to not kill the batteries, though. Um, let's see now. Hey, got ourselves a group. I wonder if that's our group of destroyers. I wonder if that's that group of destroyers we picked up. It's moving in a strange direction. Yeah, that's not... That's not transports. That's moving really fast. That is warships. I'm pretty sure that's the warships we found when we first started. The other one was large? Yeah, this is still 5 to 12. That's a fair amount. Yeah, they're hunting in this area. You can see them bouncing back and forth. Yeah, I would say warships. That's my bet. All right. They probably won't bother us, so we won't bother them. Snorkel fish. Snorkel fish. <clears throat> Attack it? No, I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd really rather not. Attack like seven destroyers. That's just silly. We don't have nearly enough torps to do any damage to a convoy like that. I mean, a destroyer... I've shot... I've put four into a destroyer before, and she stayed up. You know what I mean? Like... Um, it says we have more propeller noise, but we don't. It's the same propeller noise, so it's a lie. It's a bald-faced lie. Um, what we could do, though, is... How are we going to fuel? We have a fair amount of fuel. Let's fast travel to here, and we'll hunt on the way home like this. <laughs> yes, perfect. Perfect. Okay, now we've got something to shoot at, with any luck. Sinking warship groups is fun, need more T5s, that's true. Unarmed merchants, you would have laughed, we'll never know. That's true, we will never know. We're never going to find out now. We're close, yes. What is this thing doing, I wonder? It happens every now and again. And I've lost my contact, interesting. Interesting. Uh, I don't want to lose my contact. I want to find my contact. Hello? Contact? Hello? <gasps> See, this is the kind of bullshit I am talking about. Right here. Right here. This is what I'm talking about. <sighs> so how they could have passed... What? Three to four kilometers worth of range. I don't know. I don't know. I'm almost visible already, so that's fun. That's really cool. Man, I'm telling you. Ah, oh, the detection people. Playway devs, if anybody out there watches my content. Please, please, 
before you start playing with tutorials, before any of that, please fix the detection. Please fix the detection. Crash dive? Um, no, but I think I might go down to, say, 50. I'd like to take a shot if I can. I don't think I'll be able to, but I'm going to give it a shot. Because I'm pretty sure that warship is going to ping me. 10% visible. Now, why can't I... There we go. I was going to say, why am I not detecting this ship? Going down just makes their active sonar better. It certainly might. But I do have to get a little deeper, because at 20 or so, they'd pick me up too easily. Uh, let's put a boop in the boop spot. Go ahead and get a course for this thing. Um, speed would have been really smart, but the captain can't use the periscope at the moment, so we'll have to get speed after the fact. <coughs> Pardon me. 14%. 14%. Oh, and I feel like this is changing course. Maybe. It might be changing course. I do need to back up, though. It's unfortunate, but I have to back up. I absolutely must back up. Um... Still 14%. It's holding. Okay. Bank is working on it. Um, let's actually swap bank with Sledge, though. Sledge has the upgrades for it. So with any luck, he can do it a little bit faster than bank can. You can never find con ton sorry, contacts on missions. You use sonar, etc. Never any contacts. Uh, where are you located in the world? Are you in the Atlantic, the Mediterranean, where? They're pretty concentrated in shipping lanes. Yes, absolutely. So for anybody who doesn't know, um, right here, sector BE, this is like the best hunting ground in the Atlantic. From this corner to here, this whole space is just loaded with ships nine times in a ten. I have I've very, very rarely been disappointed by BE. In the North Sea, there's nothing to find in the North Sea. Sorry, buddy. Um, when the devs release this build, the North Sea is unbelievably empty. Nobody seems to know why. Just south of Ireland is your jam. I hear you. It's a good spot. Let's go ahead and put a little boop there. Uh, we'll get a course manually. Won't be perfect, but it doesn't have to be. Oh, my lord! Hertog, thank you very much for the, for the uh, tip, buddy. The donation. I really, really appreciate that a lot. Thank you very, very kindly. Very, very kind of you. Um, let's see now. I need to put this here. I just got tippeted. Yes, I did. Much thanks to Mr. Hertog. Um, Protracator. That's disruptive. It's supposed to be. It's so I absolutely cannot uh, make the terrible, terrible error of not giving um, shoutouts to people who are kind enough to consider me and um, like the content enough to donate to the channel. So it is going to be super disruptive every time, and I'm very, very pleased about it. Plus, I love Godzilla, so you need to go north of Denmark and Norway. Any contacts there? You just got to get out of the North Sea, buddy. You got to wait for that mission where you can leave the North Sea and get out. Honestly, just that's your best bet. Um, 274, sorry, is what we're looking at here. For our course, 274. Okay. I am Godzilla and you are Japan. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, sorry, north of Denmark and Norway. So you're talking about the Norwegian Sea? Or sorry, the uh, Greenland Sea here, Norwegian Sea? All of this is bad. You might pick up something here or there, but nine times out of ten, all you're going to get out of that area is... Um, Missing U-boats and warships, that's all. That is absolutely all you're going to find out there. Uh, just keep cranking out missions, eventually you'll get a mission to rebase and do that. And then never, ever, ever go back there again because it's a terrible place. I'm sorry, my friend, but there's nothing more I can tell you about that. You're just not going to find anything. Um, so the intersection point is about there. 
16% and rising is our detection rate. There's a lane on the southeast cor AE corner, but even that's pretty dry. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. It's not... Oh, from the movie jet. There you go. Okay, I get that now. I'm picking up what you're putting down. What are we looking at distance-wise from our line? We've got enough to take a shot. We've got enough distance for the torpedoes to arm, but I'm not willing to stay this. Where do I see myself in a year or two? You mean, like, content creation-wise? Is that what you're talking about? Or, like, in general? Clip of Treat Williams' character from Things to Do in Denver when you're dead. That does make sense, yes. In real life? Um, I mean, with any luck, I'll be... I do need to eventually move my family to a bigger home. Uh, our family is a little too large for the small, small home I have. Why aren't we detected yet? Um, it's 17% and rising. Uh, it's very likely that they're going to pick me up. But I don't want to dive any deeper because then I'll never get a torpedo away. I've got to come back up to 20 for that. Um, so yes, I'm hoping to be living in a different home. I'd like very much to keep making content online. It's really enjoyable to me. Um, I really like the idea of the community growing. You know, that kind of thing. A.K.A. Fecal Fiend. Oh dear. Oh dear. 17%. Okay. Navigation to correctness is at 26%, 27 We have the gyro compass off. I'm doing everything I can at this point to keep us quiet. There's not much more I can get done. I will take Shifty and have him work the depth steers for when I come up, though. No, I won't do it yet. I'll wait. I'll wait for now. I'm going to wait for now. 17%, back to 18 I would be pinging soon if I was this destroyer. I would definitely throw a ping because it, they've got enough to be concerned. If we kill the engines, what's that going to do for us? Because at this distance, it'd be okay to take a shot. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to take a shot at this distance. To be honest, in a year with your tutorials on, ye on YouTube and go viral and you get a ton of subs, that would be really neat, man. Uh, that would really be something. I'd like to... Well, I don't know about rolling in money. That would be cool. I mean, I, I, I started making content because I was interested in the idea of making content. Um... Also, there was no good, like, in my opinion, there was no good, solid tutorial for U-Boat, so that's what I started with. Um, I'm not, I, I don't, the whole point of this was not to make a fortune, right? Like, that's not something that I considered going in, because realistically, only the top, like, 0.5% of people who make content are going to make a living making content, you know what I mean? Um, I just enjoy it. It's just a lot of fun. Um, as a hobby, this is really fun for me. I just really appreciate the community. I like, I like the back and forth, you know. If you want to make a fortune, U-Boat isn't a game to stream. That's true. 100% true. And I'm not willing to just play games for the sake of making money from it. I enjoy this game. I wouldn't, I wouldn't make content for a game I don't like. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so Sledge is never going to get a lock in time for us to take a shot, so we're going to have to work out our own stuff. Unfortunately, I can't get the skipper onto the periscope to take a speed check. Unless I move a little closer to the surface. Which is what we're going to do. Because I need, I, need I need the tools from the periscope to take a speed check. I must have... The, chrono the chronometer. You are the Matso 7. Oh, hello. Hi. That is you. That'd be you. Um, we're becoming more visible. Come on, boat. I need the skipper. Well, while I'm waiting, I suppose I'll put some rings in the water to give me a distance bearing. Uh, it's going to be... Hmm. We're going to have to wait, actually. Can I? Yes. Okay. Okay. Where's my ship? She's right here. She's veering off course ever so slightly. I think they're making their turn. No, the skipper's not on the damn periscope yet. Brilliant. Alright. 
Walrus on the depth steers, please. Keep me from poking out. 22%. Come on, Skipper. Move your butt. Okay. Now we can try to figure out her speed. Almost out of sonar cone. True. So that's why if you click on your name, it's the same logo, just with a different name. That does make sense. That does make sense. Um, why isn't the skipper on the... Okay. Relax, Salted. Relax, buddy. Skipper, move your ass. Thank you. My god, man. Sense of purpose here, people. Keep that damn thing hidden. Whew, that was irritating. I gotta tell you one thing. I've served on Navy ships. You do not w go slowly anywhere if bad things are happening. That is not a good call. You don't move slowly. Alright, we're probably gonna get detected while I do this. One. Two. Come on, baby. Come on. Three. And stop. Okay. Where's the point? Holy God, she's really moving. She's really, really moving. Glad I didn't guess, because I would have guessed wrong. She is doing seven knots. Seven knots. Okay. There we go. Distance to target is... I better have a damn torpedo ready, I swear to God. There better be a torpedo ready, boys, I'm just saying. Distance to target is... 810 meters. 810. Narrator, you do not. Okay. T3, T3, T1, T3, T3. Okay, we're going to go with... Three T3s. That's what we're going to try to shoot with. I want to kill this Dido class. You've never been wrong before. Feel, feels weird. It happens, man. It happens. Okay, where are my torps? Track looks okay. Not perfect, but okay. Alrighty, folks. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All right, that's a lie, Captain. He's always a little wrong. <laughs> Don't want to sound like a self-promoter, but you do make YouTube videos as well. But the game you would record is Wolfpack, but your hint internet can hardly do it, and your PC. I hear you, man. I'm barely making this thing run on this PC, so... One incoming. Two incoming. One good strike. Two times good hits. The third torpedo... Must have missed. Nope, here she comes. Here she comes. Come on, baby. Yes! Yes, indeed. You have an RX-5... Or, sorry, an RX-570 with a 3200G. I have an RX-580 with a 4th generation Intel 4-core 4-thread. So I feel your pain. Hey! They threw all the boats in the air for fun. Get on down. Get on down. You got nothing. You got nothing. All right, that worked out very nicely, people. Dive the boat. Take us up to speed. Let's get behind these guys so they don't uh, detect us. That was fun. Can we deck done two Corvettes again? Not right now. I want to survive this patrol, and I only save at port. I do not save at sea. Not right now. Another day. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Get down in the name of the water. You survived last time. Yes, I did. It was a very close run thing, too. Can torpedo them, maybe? I really doubt it. They're going to be moving very, very erratically. Uh, and they're quite small targets. So it's probably not going to work out. Deck gun, deck gun. Nope, not this time, folks. Not this time. I want to survive this encounter. And honestly, they're spaced apart. Uh, if they were still close together, we'd have a chance, but with them coming at from either directions, it's absolutely not a good call. Not a good call at all. 
All right, which one has hydrophone? This guy. I'm willing to turn on the ventilation for a small bit. I think we're still at, are we still at red lighting or did we switch to blue? We're at red. That's probably one of our problems there. Okay, can I leave this view please? Hello? Hello? I'd like to leave, what in God's name? Okay, leave, there we go. Thank you. Okay, blue lighting please. Uh, they sent the one without sonar in the direction the torps came from. Quality AI, right? Just put a torpedo in the deck gun. That's what I should have done the whole time, Logan. This is a good call, man. That's a good call. Bugs. Yeah, bugs. Yeah, bugs. Poor, poor B-126. The buggiest of its bugs. Okay, um, no one's gonna hear us. We'll go ahead and increase speed to three. Wait for oxygen to be charged. And kill the vents. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. With any luck, we'll find a little bit of shipping as we cross the lane. And we'll kill something else on the way home. Yes, indeed. They crawl on you. They break your boat. They ruin everything. That's it. I'm banning bugs. No more bugs in the channel. You forced my hand. No more bugs. That's it. No bugs for anybody. We're done with it. God, I wish we were done with it. <laughs> if only, bud. I hear ya. If only, indeed. Uh, how's the crew doing? Everybody's pretty good. Okay. We can uh, creep on up into the green zone now. See no reason to not at this point. And we will very quickly be getting up to periscope depth. We'll have Mr. Jaeger raise the snorkel for us. Breathing is always fun. I've heard, anyway, that breathing is good for us. If you could say something and happen, and it would happen, you'd be rich. I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> that's that's probably how it would go. Um, let's go ahead and get bank on the radio. We'll radio in that we killed the tribal. Good. Good, good, good. Hold we treadies. Okay. Where are we in the world? We still haven't crossed into BE just yet. We're probably going to surface for a bit. Uh, what is it? Nighttime? Yeah, we'll surface for a little while. Bring her up. Not too concerned about getting spotted. Well, let's try again. Not too concerned about getting spotted here. I think we're going to be okay. Uh, kill the snorkel. Red lighting, please. And then back to nav. Skipper himself is running the valves for a change. That's interesting. Okay. Mr. Walrus is getting sleepy. Diesel compressor's on. Mr. Jaeger's getting sleepy. Let's have Tyler run the engines for us. Thank you, Mr. Tyler. Hey, Light. How long did it take me to learn a game like this? Hello, Destroy the Beast, by the way. Welcome to the stream. Um, how long did it take me to learn? Um, I mean, a fair bit. Um... Why is my okay? Uh, it took me it took me a while to figure out all the hidden mechanics. Um, and I mean, there's a lot of forums out there. There was Reddit posts, Facebook p uh, posts, stuff like that on how to f like trying to figure out how to run this game. Um, it took me a while. I'm not gonna lie. I probably had about fifty to sixty hours in before I had a pretty good handle on it. It took some doing. I'm not gonna lie. Um, these days, with the uh, with the amount of information that's out there. Um, you should be good probably within your first five, six missions, realistically, if you uh, pay attention to anybody, anybody else's tutorials, absolutely. Uh, and U-Boat would not bug. That surfaced fast. Yes, it really did, actually. Even from Periscope, that popped up really, really quickly. Like, really quickly. Surprisingly quickly. Um, I'd like to build morale a little faster, but I can't use the radio. Can't use the radio. Oh well, you heard it from Griznark's workshop and you in two hours. Oh, you learned it, sorry. Yeah, I could cook. I just didn't want to take anybody out of bed. I didn't want to take anybody out of bed. I might have to, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the skipper playing cards. Um, we don't need bank on the radio. Let's have him play cards as well. And that'll build us up really quickly. Cook and card games. Oh yeah, well you can play cards times two. And then you could cook as well. 60 hours sounds almost too little. 
Um, I guess it sort of depends on your play style, I guess. Right? Okay. We're probably going to be... Let's hunt when we get to, say, here. So when the bells go off again, I'll try to hunt a little bit. Blackjack and cookers. <laughs> I like that. I mean, yeah, it probably took me close to 60 hours. I mean, I'm not particularly awesome at subsum games. Like, it's not like I'm, I don't know, Wolfpack or anybody like that. Like, I play them pretty casually, so... Um, let's see now. Depth, let's dive. Slow clap. Uh, Walrus is in bed, that's good. Just one second there, chat, getting a phone call. Hey, back we are. <clears throat> Shush, it's very important. It wasn't the most important thing, but you know, it was important enough. If you distract him, you can't play cards. What if an aircraft came? That would be terrible. Why do people want terrible things to happen to my boat? Um, let's see now. Tyler's doing that. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get uh, Sledge on the hydrophone. Um... Skipper, stop playing cards for a minute and raise the snorkel, please. And then you're probably just going to go take a nap. What are we doing for... Okay, 83%. Gyro compass back on. Uh, let's see now. Good, 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 good. Skipper, sleepy time. And we are doing speed 3, correct? Yes, good. There we go. There we go. Now, with any luck, we'll uh, pick up something to huntify. Slow down to speed 2. 5 to 12 up above. I feel like that's... Hang on. Let's keep an eye on her track for a minute. She's going the wrong way. That's another war patrol. Why are there so many war patrols today? Contrail. Contrail. Destroy the... Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Destroy the, destroy the beast. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, contrail. Contrail, contrail. That's problematic because I can't fight it. Uh, I'll never get the boat up in time. So if it weaves toward us, we have to dive. I think we're going to be okay, though. It doesn't look like it's going to turn in on us. But yeah, there's an awful lot of war patrols today. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Thanks, Semicolon, he brought you in. Well, thanks very much, Semicolon. You did predict that aircraft. Yes, you did. And I was on the phone when it first came up. So it's kind of terrifying how good you are, to tell you the truth. Uh, we'll swap to electrics, extend our range ever so slightly. Strange that we're not picking up shipping. This is one of the best shipping lanes in the game, and I'm picking up nothing. Let's uh, kill the motors all together for a minute. Wow, that's weird. Attack us, please, aircraft. No, he ran away. We frightened him away. Hey, there we go. Something to shoot at. Good stuff. All right, give me diesels. Let's move. Um, Tyler is sleepy. Rest time for Tyler. Diesels for Mr. Walrus. Mr. Jaeger, let's get on nav. We're going to get lost soon. We don't want that. And um, I think Sledge is okay where he is for now. Skipper, you're going to be on the periscope shortly. I'm surfaced. No, I am not surfaced. I am not. See? Blub, blub. Doing the blub thing. All right. You're dived again. Yes. I was for a minute. Really? I don't remember that. I mean, I might have been. Not to my knowledge, though. When I stopped? Must have been a graphical glitch. Boating, but unter. Yes. Just like boating, but more under-like. More under-ish. 16 kilometers off, eh? That's always fun. Skipper, let's get some eyeballs on the... Uh, whoa! What happened to my contact? Holy sweet mother of God. 27 to 60. Oh my God, yes. 
Okay, you piss off. I don't even care about you. 27 to 60. Yeah, great, good. Transports, go. Go faster than this. Go all the way fast. As fast as we can go. I've got a super huge contact that I want to do something about. Oh, I really don't think I have many, enough torpedoes for this. Okay, go, 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 go faster. Go faster. Stupid boats in my way. Surface? Mmm. No. Well, I might in between, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go faster than this. Go faster than this. Take us up. Compressors, both of them. Screw it. Rest Mr. Sledge. Uh, everybody else looks good. Skipper, you grab a nap too. Oh yeah, 27 to 60. Paprik, what's going on, buddy? Nice to see you again. Alright, we're going to dive the boat again here. Because I've lost my contact. Uh, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, hey, a visual contact in one. That's going to be a damn NPC U-boat that's going to be in my way and alert the convoy. Hold up. That's right. Okay, um, bank hydrophone, please. Yep, you go away. Go away right now. Go away faster. Go away faster. Yep. Steer north slightly. Yeah, I'm going to have to. That's not me. That's this stupid-ass boat. Get gone. Go over here. Go over there. God, I hate those NPCs. I hate them so much. You think they're on a northeast track? It looks like it. Say escape. Okay. Okay. They escape it. And now they're turning back around. Nope. Where's my convoy? The ship is coming towards me again. Escaping was not the correct thing to press. Don't press escape. Go away. <clears throat> Go away. There it is. Hello. Go, gotta go now. Come on. Come on. Go faster. You boat I swear to God. I hate this so much. I hate them so much. If I could turn them off, I would. <clears throat> oh, hello, convoy. Um, let's go this way. I would like to get a course in speed, though, while we're at it. Alright. <coughs> Pardon me. Very sorry about that. Skipper. And... Go. The other U-boat might alarm them, yes. One. Two. And three. Come on, don't bug out on me, game. Stick with me. Stick with me. Not now, please. Alright, they're not moving very fast at all. Must be some tankers and stuff. Okay. 2.8. That is extraordinarily slow. But hey, I'll take it. I will take it. Da -da 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 nope, need that to be farther. Right about there. And yes, it's going to be very, very close to 90. But I'm not all about the guessing. God damn it, wrong button. <clears throat> oh! Thanks very much for that, uh, Destroy the Beast, for the gift subbings. Much obliged. Everybody make sure you uh, thank Mr. Destroy the Beast. Uh, 89 degrees, okay. That's actually really, really close. Perfect. 89 degrees and 2.8... What was it again? 
2.8, yes. Okay. 2.8 for a... No, 89 goes here. 2.8 goes here. She's not going 89 kilometers an hour. Definitely not going 89 kilometers an hour. Okay. All right. What are we going to see, I wonder? Um, the snorkel is up. We're going to be fairly visible. Nothing to be done about that, unfortunately. Not currently, anyway. Uh, let's just sort of zip in between these guys. Kill some stuff on the way through, I guess. Um, I need someone on the radio to call this in. There we go. I'm going to have to drop the snorkel. Because they're going to see it. And that's unfortunate. Uh, 2.8. 89 degrees. 2.8. Um, and 89 degrees. No escorts? Not yet. They may be trailing. Um, you know, like F1 drivers, when they win, the s they spray champagne on themselves? That's what we do, but with salt. Yes. F f f phonetics? 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 Phonetic phoneticis. Phonetics? Wow, I can bring... Uh, Lacus, hello. <laughs> hello, and welcome to the stream. I really can't pronounce that, my man. I'm sorry. Really can't pronounce that. Um, we're going to get visible here soon, I think. Let's switch to electric engines, first and foremost. Not too worried about being overly hidden at the moment. This is probably the biggest convoy I've ever seen. There are no warships in this convoy. There are aircraft, though. I can tell by the way this is moving around. There's absolutely aircraft. Yes, there is. Hello, aircraft. And we're very, very visible all of a sudden. Very, very visible all of a sudden. Let's go ahead and put this down. Uh, let's drop us down to 20 meters. And hope that aircraft doesn't pick us up. Shoot the aircraft? That's not a great idea about now. Not a super good idea right this second. But I appreciate your, uh, your zeal. Um, I really needed torpedoes. I bet you I don't have any warmed. I really don't. We're going to throw the ship in reverse and try to keep abreast of these two ships. And then we're going to shoot them. And we're going to have to approximate their bearings. Okay. They are... No, no, no. Mr. Tyler, warm the torpedoes. Warm all the torpedoes forever. That's all I want you to do now. That's literally your whole job. Warm and torpedoes. That's it. Just do that. That and only that. I do need blue lighting. Oh, pardon me. Blue lighting and then back to nav, please. I'd like to keep batteries up for as long as I can. Uh, sledge doesn't have to be doing that. Good, good, good. Okay, so we need distance to target. Let's figure that out. Okay, this shouldn't be too difficult. They're very, very close to us. That's a Liberty. She'll probably need two. It's not one kilometer. That's a lie. It's not exactly one kilometer. It's never exactly one kilometer. That's one kilometer there. Uh, and she is just outside that circle. Probably something to the tune of 1100, 1050. 1040, to be exact. And this handy little fella here is how far? Say to there, that's 710 meters. Okay, so she is 1040. 1040. Lock that in. She is 710. Lock that in. All right, ship number one. Two torpedoes for her. With any luck, that'll be enough to take down the Liberty. Stop lying, game. Fire. And our second target, we're going to load up two as well, I think. I prefer kills, not cripples. Tubes two, sorry, three and four. And fire. Okay, some people need some help loading torpedoes. I'm perfectly willing to give them that. And let's get moving again. 
The enemies are Pepper. I agree. That is what they shall be known as. The enemies are now known as Pepper. The Avondale Park is about to be having a rather bad day. 30 seconds to impact, supposedly. 20 seconds. Shots don't look good. Maybe they're not. I might be off. Nah, they look okay to me. 10 seconds. That doesn't seem right. Hang on. Did I miss this? Nope. I'm going to miss with the rear torpedo, though. Going to miss with that rear torpedo. Huh. I figured I'd hit the other ship first. Oh, well. Alright, the Empire Le Bon is gone. That's fine. Oh, that might just clip her. No, it's going to miss her. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Oh, well. Not going to be enough to kill her, unfortunately. But you can't win them all, people. Increase speed. It's vinegar. Oh, are we having the vinegar conversation again? Now, look at all these ships, and all the destroyers are in the rear. Why can't be this the thing I find first, I wonder? Be funny if that torpedo hits something. It won't, but it would have been funny. Oh, the Avondale Park is going down. Well, she's abandoned anyway. Yes, she is going down. Fantastic. Hey. She's sinking. She be sinking. Is there tankers? Um. Not that I can see. Oh, there's their escorts. They're all the way outside there. All right. Okay. Um. We're going to have to do some snapshots. Uh, we won't be able to line them up very well, and I don't want to wait for them to leave the alarm status yet. So we'll try some snapshots. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if this hit it? It won't. It's a little too far off, but that would have been great. I would have laughed and laughed. Oh, we have some fun. We have fun. Okay, these guys don't need these helpers anymore. Take them off. Um, let's see now. So her approximate course is going to be 89. Her approximate speed is going to be about 3. And we'll be getting distance on her momentarily. I want to get close enough to not worry about the shot. Okay, we're within 700 now. Um, let's say a distance of... 600. Give me a torpedo. Let's take... How many do we want? Two? Let's try two. Mmm, that distance isn't right. Let's call it 500. And... Slow down a bit. Jesus, distance still isn't correct. 450. Okay. Now we'll try it. Alright, let's move. Um, they might hit. The Lady Drake. Do any of your an engineer have the no torps are duds? I think so. But that's, I think that only applies if you're still outside the 300 meter mark. I don't think the torpedo can arm closer than 300 meters, so it will done no matter what. I'm pretty sure. Here we go. Incoming. Tagger in the rear. And midships. Boom. That's what you call a bad day. That's a bad day. Okay. Um, let's actually go in this direction now. And maybe we'll try to shoot at this guy. Once again, she's going to be doing something to the tune of three. Maybe four. She's been doing 89 knots. Or sorry, a course of 89. Uh, ooh. My system is having a hard time running all of this at once. Yeesh. Sorry about that, chat. Everything's starting to slow down on me. Alright, do we have torpedoes warmed? Let's make sure. We'll try one more. Yeah, sorry about the lag. There's too much going on on the screen for my little four core to be doing anything about it. Okay, so distance to target is going to be... 
something. Uh, we're moving in very quickly. Let's call it 750. Uh, no, it's going to be less than that because I'm not done heating this torpedo yet. Damn it. Come on, come on. Heat it up, heat it up, heat it up, heat it up. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. And the distance to target is going to be... 490. Call it 480. Give me a torpedo, please. <clears throat> Put it in the microwave. Cook it. That'll work. That'll do the job. Come on, come on, let's go. Sometimes this game takes a little too long for me. Last torpedo, people. That's it. We've shot everything we got. Torpedo track looks okay. With any luck, this will take her down. The Lady Drake did go under, so that's a plus. <clears throat> we hope. Yes, we're hoping. We're doing the hoping thing. Alright, let's dive down to 50. And... Not a bad spot to hit, to tell you the truth. Not a bad spot to hit at all. Come on, burn, baby. Keep burning. Keep burning. Otherwise, you could always deck gun it. I've been there. I think, uh, how many streams ago was that now? Just a few streams ago I went and did that. Popped out of the water at the worst possible time and deck gunned something. Um, okay, we're becoming very, very visible to this destroyer. Um, unfortunately I don't particularly care at the moment. We are going to dive deeper though. And she's got us. Skipper. Skipper. Skipper, skipper, skipper. Let's do this thing. Come on. Pill thrower. <clears throat> Decoy launch. Let's go. And we'll change direction and I'd like to change direction this way, please. Thank you. There we go. Decoys feel like cheating? Really? Why not? Like why? Why rather? Doesn't feel like cheating to me. It's perfectly acceptable. It's perfectly acceptable. Alright, he just did the thing. That's good. We got bubbles in the water. Bubbles in the water at the 120 meter mark, so that should keep us off our backs. Keep them off our backs, rather. Hide underneath a convoy ship works a treat. Yes, that's true, but they can still detect you. Yeah, they're bombing the crap out of that area now. That's good. We can run our vents. Once everything starts going off, we can start running the vents. Come on, where's those bangs at? Alright, we're probably cavitating at the moment. It's strange in this build, it doesn't show you cavitation anymore. It used to. It used to. Hacker confirmed. <laughs> There's the booms. Ventilation on, please. Only two explosions. Nope, there they are. Come on, vents on, boys. Man, it drives me crazy how long this takes. I gave the order a little while ago there, people. Vents. Vents. Hello, vents. There we go. My god, that took a while. You're too deep to cavitate? Really? Interesting. Salt, did you have to quit? No worries, bud. I just gotta get this boat home now. Family's gonna be home soon. Things are gonna get real loud. I won't, ha I won't be able to stream anyway. I gotta get away from this convoy first. Have a good night, evening, day. Uh, it's still daytime for me, but thanks for... Thank you, uh, blah, blah, try again. Thanks very much for coming by there, pups. Even at flank, you wouldn't. Water pressure's too high. It shows the cavitation, though. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Uh, the Righteous Rob. Thanks very much for the follow. Appreciate it. It's night for you. There you go. That's why I threw up this Eastern-friendly stream. Um, let's see now. Lots going on. Everything's stuttering to hell. I'm really sorry about that chat. Once I get away from all these ships, that'll, uh, that'll sort itself out. I think... Ooh, he's in a hurry. That guy's in a hurry. Come on, PC. Don't quit on me. 
Just build a bunker where your family can't bother you, right? All I gotta do is dig a hole in my yard or something. 18% visible. Kill the engines. Kill the engines. This is bad. This is bad. She's got me dead to rights. She's got me. Not yet. I'll wait till I see the splashes. Not yet. Hold. Hold. Jagger needs a nap. So does Walrus. Tyler, do something on the engines, please. Thank you. Um, let's swap around our radio dudes. Something like so. Okay. They're going to lose us here in a minute. Ooh, 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 that was close. They almost hit each other. I might need another pill. How can they still have me? I'm in their blind spot at this point. Oh, now they've lost me. That's proper. Thanks, game. 16%, 20... Nope, they lost me. Fantastic. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. 8%, 9, 10. Nope. Lost me again. Oop. They might catch me there. 22, 30. Yeah, they found me again. Floor it and go deeper. How did they not throw everything at me? They might not actually have any uh, depth charges aboard. It happens. It happens. Sometimes they just don't have them. And sometimes they just lose you. They've got me, but they can't hit me from there. Okay. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. They won't be able to turn that tight, I don't think. Alright, we're behind her. We should See, right now, we should be invisible. We're behind her. You know what I mean? Like, there's no way she can hear us when we're back there. We've got to fire up the vents. I need some filters in the vents to do that. You were convinced they depth charged me to oblivion and back. I mean, they probably should have, realistically. Where am I? Let's put a couple of these in there, make this faster. Turn it on, Jaeger. Let's go. Eat some air. All right, we're nice and noisy now. And kill the vents. Alter course. <clears throat> it's kind of ha it's kind of has been detected recently. Interesting. I didn't know that. I was always positive it meant we were detected, like currently detected. That does make sense though. Are you going to drop? Nope, you're not going to drop. Dear destroyers, please let me leave. Please. Got me again, do you, brother? Nope. Alright, morale is about to tank. Nothing to be done about that, and quite frankly, I don't care. Holy crap, I've never seen destroyers act like this before. Got ourselves a sea wolf, people. Look at that. Mr. Alwyn Keller. He's the man. They seem pretty friggin' useless to you. You mean it's accurate when they get positive location? If you cut everything, they know where you are for some time. Sorry, Hertog, you missed the bet. We got ourselves a Seawolf. 18% visible and counting. 9%. Yeah, these destroyers are all over me, this go. Normally they don't act quite this, um... Quite this, um... Bang to rights. Kill the vents. Change course. Come on, game. You know you're not going to find me. Let me go. Ooh. What do you got going on here? Is she going to drop? Are they finally going to do something? Please, depth charge salted, nice destroyers. <laughs> no, thank you. No touchy. 
No touchy. Holy crap, boys. You're so far away from your convoy. You should you would never do this in real life. You're leaving behind the people that are depending on you. Low discipline again. Oh. She's getting a little curious. I don't know, deeper. Let's get into the red zone. We gotta do something. It's getting annoying. Come on, come on, game, come on. This is getting, like, just tedious. Tedious, tedious, tedious. Hey, another sea wolf. look at that. Uh, Mr. Jurgen Weber is another sea wolf. Destroyers hunted U-boats for 12 hours in real life? Really? Maybe if you zoom in, you can see if they still have charges, and then ignore them if they don't. Um, looks like depth charges to me. All kinds of them. Oof, pincher maneuver. May have to hit the engines here in a huge way. Nope. Um, navigation's gone. Let's see now. Sea wolf is a special trait that makes the mirror impossible to break. Yes. Sorry about that, Righteous Rob. I was concentrating on the screen. Um, so when your morale drops to zero... Um, a couple things might happen. A, one of your crew has a heart attack because of the stress. B, uh, somebody has a meltdown, like a tantrum, and they give away your position by running around and screaming. Or C, you get yourself a sea wolf, and they will never, ever crack under pressure. And that's about to happen to us again. What's going to be next? Another sea wolf. Hey, Mr. Gunter Mayer. Okay, screw this. I'm going fast. I'm going fast in this direction. I'm getting tired of this. If you find me, you find me. If you kill me, you kill me. It's getting irritating now. Discipline's low. Air's low. Everything's low. What? Was that the trick? Go really fast and they'll leave you alone? Apparently. Another Sea Wolf. Mr. David Peters has joined his comrades in the Sea Wolf category. Apparently, the answer to destroyers is go as fast as you possibly can. Because apparently, your noise does not matter as much. Maybe? Maybe I'm outrunning the noise. Maybe I'm going faster than the noise goes. Wasserbombin.exe not found. Um, geez, sorry about that, uh, semicolon. I'm not sure what you were trying... Oh, I see, because of the period. I thought it was a link or something. Sorry about that, buddy. Sorry about that, my friend. Swap these guys around a little. I have to get this boat home. We have to go home. Must go home. Must go home. Come on. A little faster. Let's get away from all these silly red blips on the screen. Okay, we're not alarmed anymore. That's a plus. Let's get up to snorkel depth. Um, Jagger, is the snorkel up? No, it's hidden. Let's go ahead and bring it up. And we'll be swapping to diesel engines as soon as we get a chance. Like now. There we go. Go fast, please. A little faster. Yeah, that's what happened to you before. One day you'll learn. You say that. <laughs> you say that. Uh, radio. There we are. Finally. Man, that took forever, eh? Alright, get me over this way and this way. Come on, go fast. Go fast. It's this... <sighs> that's an NPC U-boat right there. That is an NPC U-boat right there. In my way. Being annoying. <laughs> Man. Devs, anybody, if you're out there, play away, whoever, please give us the ability to turn that off. Please, please give us the ability to turn them off altogether. Because my god, are they irritating. 
Like, it'd be one thing, like, it's one thing for them to screw up your shots and all that kind of good stuff, but for them to kick me out of time compression as well, it's just, it's, it makes the game no fun. You know what I mean? Like, I, just keep them out of our way. That would be very, very helpful. Sleepy sleep. Sleep, sleep. Okay, you can sleep eventually. Once I find you a bed to sleep in. Alright, let's get this Motley crew back home. My god, people. Hunted, hunted everywhere. Hunted to the point of no return and back. Snorkel's up. Don't like the snorkel being up. Put the snorkel down, please. U1003 just did something, but then I turned it off, so yeah. Come on, boat. Come on, boat. Um, no, sorry. Um, Lacus, thanks very much for the follow, buddy. Appreciate it. We are out of torpedoes. We just want to get us home. And anything that's kicking me out of time compression at this point is just an irritation that I don't really need. Uh, I gotta move some people around. Let's go like this, like this, and like this. And can we... Are we are doing max speed. That's good. Okay, Google. What's a deck gun? It's that thing that, honestly, I don't want to spend the time using at the moment. I want to get the boat home. That's what I want to do. Because my kids are going to be home soon. And I can't stream while they're screaming. do 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 See, I can't be copywritten for that song. That's my own song. Come on, boat. Is school open by me? By you? No, they were out shopping with their mother. But school will be open soon. School will be open on the 8th of September. That is the kids' first day back. For better or for worse, that is what's happening. Visual contact is a U-boat, guaranteed. Hate getting kicked out of time compression? Yep. I've never seen a warship group in the Bay of Biscay. Yeah, that's twice. That's very odd. It's 1942. That shouldn't be happening. I'm thinking the game picked up a bug here somewhere. First one of you as well. Yep, I've never seen them this close. I've never seen them this close. It's very, very strange. Very strange. All right, just come on, come on, come on, game, come on, come on, come on, come on. Load another day, please. Just go now. Go, gotta go now. Planes you've seen. Yes, I have picked up planes. Some kind of long-range coastal patrol, something to that tune. But, no, I'd never seen uh, packs of war cruisers like that. It was very, very odd. Very strange indeed. Um, where's the boat going? Holy God. Whoa. That was wild. <laughs> shiny car guy. Sorry, Admiral Shiny Car Guy. Mr. Tyler picks himself up the U-Boat War Badge with diamonds. Good job, Mr. Tyler. Uh, Skipper gets a whole lot of points. And, let's see now. 23,219 tons. Because the, um... Sorry, the warships don't count towards our tonnage. So many U-boats lost to planes in the bay in real life, they got them while they were coming home. That makes perfect sense. Nine days, one hour, 79,960k. So let's see now. We took down three, sorry, two flowers, a tribal class, and four little fellows over here. We did not manage to stay undetected due to that aircraft picking us up as we traversed to Portsmouth. Unfortunately, that's where we got picked up. Okay, folks, um, I'm going to be shutting down the stream here. Again, got to make tracks on uh, getting everything ready for the kiddos. Really appreciate everybody for coming by. Really, really appreciate the subs and the follows. Thanks so very much for that. Uh, with any luck, I'll be able to throw in a few more Eastern-friendly streams before the world goes back to normal. Um, yes. So, again, thanks very much just for stopping by, honestly. Loki Bear 86 thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. 
Uh, again, the really important thing to, uh, for me is that everybody stopped by and had fun. Honestly, that that's the biggest thing. You know, making money on this is great, but um, community, communities, communities where I'm at, and that's good. I mean, I'm not saying don't, but uh, you know. And uh, Hertog, thanks again very much for the don donation. Um, the uh, the stream is funded by people like you. That's how this works. Um, anything I ever add, such as cameras, mics, the like, better components, better sound, so on and so forth, that is all from that kind of a thing. Uh, Loki Bear 86 sorry about that. Apparently you typed in something very long. Enjoyed the stream. Thanks very much. I'm glad to hear it. Okay, folks, again, uh, if you're not part of the Discord, um, I always make I try to make sure to let everybody know that I'm going to stream beforehand. Links are down below, of course, and they have been popping up on the screen over time, I believe. Um, but the links are below on the channel page, as well as my Twitter. Uh, once again, I also um, let everybody know ahead of time on Twitter, just to give everybody a bit of a heads up, uh, a little bit of a leap on everyone else. So again, folks, thanks very much for coming by, and until next time, I have been Lightly Salted. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now.